Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on these Bali Anista Speed Mints. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Vali Anista Speed Mints. These retail for $40 on their website. And they come in this black and white colorway, one size fits all. I believe these are most likely made in Pakistan, if not China, and they use a synthetic leather outside casing, as well as I believe it's a dual layer foam uh, for the strike surface that is also pre-curved. Um, for those of you that's wondering, well, what does it mean to be a speed mitt or, or, or speed pads? Essentially, the idea behind it is, is, is a little bit more of a compact pad uh, that puts more of an emphasis on typically a thinner type of harder foam. And that's really good for doing really fast combinations, speed work, slipping, bobbing, weaving. Not really made for power punching per se. So it lacks the protective elements that some other mitts have that are more protective, typically thicker foam. They may, may have an air pocket in the center of the mitt to disperse uh, the force of the punch. And oftentimes they'll have a wrist pad right here. So if you're a coach or you're a trainer that's gonna be holding mitts, um, this is not exactly the most protective mitt in that regard. If you have wrist, forearm issues, shoulder problems, sometimes you, you see trainers, they hold the mitts like that. And that's because they're really trying to allow the force of the punch to go into their body rather than their arm getting flung out. Um, so this doesn't really have those features. This is more for those of you that really wanna work speed, precision, slipping, uh, you know, bobbing, weaving, going underneath shots, and, and really fast work. Uh, the other good thing about this mitt, ha having that nice solid uh, punch surface that depending on the glove you're using, you really get that nice, satisfying pop out of these mitts when you hit it with your gloves. Um, if you're using gloves that are more of a puncher style glove that is like horsehair foam, uh, or a blend of horsehair foam, should I say, um, do know that you will feel your knuckles kind of pierce through and it is a little bit more of a harder target, especially if your coach is kind of slapping down with, and meeting you halfway with your punches to kind of give you a little bit of, uh, of resistance to when you land your punches. So it is definitely more on the denser side. So if you have maybe a knuckle injury or you have bruised knuckles, maybe uh, put some kind of gel insert over your knuckles to protect yourself uh, with these mitts. So uh, first things first, uh, you can see here, the quality on these are decent. Um, I would say that the stitching on here, you know, is okay. There's areas where it looks a little bit crooked. Um, the synthetic leather they use on here is definitely of a higher grade. It's definitely not like the synthetic you would see like in those mass produced brands like Everlast. It has a thicker and almost say it, it really replicates leather very nicely. You can see that from the naked eye, if these were sitting on a table across the room from you, you wouldn't be able to do, to discern between these uh, being synthetic or leather. So that's a good thing. But the stitching I'd probably say is a big thing. Um, one thing I do like is the fact that they integrated a couple of small little features on here. Um, it's going to be the suede, this micro suede they put on here. So uh, as a coach, you may be able to kind of like wipe your face off with the suede piece to wipe off your sweat because coaches sweat too. And you also have that suede material on the bottom uh, wrist section too. So it basically keeps your wrist uh, nicely planted and gripped in there, as well as uh, preventing the sweat from dripping down your arm. Um, these are handed, they don't have a left or, or a right, uh, but generally speaking, the to me, the Velcro strap that's adjustable always should go to the outside. So if you're wearing this on your left hand, then the Velcro strap should tighten down to the outside to the left. And that's kind of the same way I wrap my hands, but you do have that Velcro strap that has that plastic D-ring clip right there. So you do have that adjustability, which is nice. Um, you can see that there's perforated synthetic leather and it does have uh, the little canopy cover that goes over the fingertips. Um, on the punch surface side, I do love that it's curved. So it gives you a little bit more of an angled target. I like the composition of this really solid foam. I do wish that there wasn't this extra stitching right here because you can see it's, Aside from it just getting dirty, which is normal, um, that's right where your punches are gonna be landing. So um, I'm, a, I'm afraid that's probably gonna end up unraveling over a certain period of time. Um, a little dirty there. But um, it would have been nice not to have that. You also notice that it is raised. So essentially what that does is 
it really forces you to have more pinpoint accuracy with your punches when it comes in rather than it hitting up on this bridge right here uh, or on this lower portion as well. Um, other than that, you can see that it has the laces that keep the foam in at the bottom as well. And comfort wise, sliding your hand in there, a great thing with this mitt is that they give you a palm ball. So really hard to see. Maybe I can try to show it to you guys in the video, but it's, it's dark on inside there. You can't really see it. But there is a palm ball on the inside of the mitt. So it's very beneficial. So essentially when you have your hand in here, if it didn't have a palm ball, your hand basically just kind of rests on the crest or the curvature of the mitt. With that palm ball, it allows your hand to kind of have something to grip onto. So as a coach or a trainer, as you're holding this, for whoever you're holding the mitts for, that palm ball allows you to basically kind of roll your fingers over and kind of create that grip so that when you're going through and you're running combinations and you're doing pad work, your hands have something to grip onto. And it reduces the chances that if you do take a shot that the, the mitts will go flying off. Um, and it also allows you to kind of pull the bottom portion of the mitt in a little bit more closer to your wrist to kind of build that structure you basically want your mitt to be kind of like one one piece with your arm your forearm as well as into your shoulders so that it really you really protect yourself and your body is more or less taking the brunt of the force especially if you're training somebody that has good amount of power somebody that's larger than you a heavyweight uh, then you want to make sure even if you're doing speed work with them they're doing they punch really hard that you can really brace for that so i feel like that palm ball uh, really helps uh, in that regard in terms of protecting yourself and again i would limit these mitts to just more fast combinations uh, precision work rather than power work there are other mitts out there that are more suitable uh, for that type of work in my opinion but overall i'm very satisfied with these mitts i would say the biggest concern for me is just the stitching and um, really how the stitching on the palm side is going to hold up over time um, outside of that they look really clean i mean they're pretty pretty clean cut classic looking uh, black and white uh, for $40. Uh, they're a pretty good value uh, for a speed mitt. Um, when I was hitting these, I felt like they gave me excellent pop and feedback. Um, I would probably use my training gloves, like 14 or 16 ounce gloves when I hit these. A uh, little bit more protective because I was using some fight gloves as well. And when I would use the fight gloves training with these, I would definitely feel my knuckles kind of pierced through onto that, onto that really hard foam. Uh, but outside of that, really satisfied with these so far. Uh, and definitely think they do a really nice job uh, from a training aspect in increasing both my accuracy and just feeling good overall when I'm hitting the mitts. So. so if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Valley Nista Speed Mists. I'll see you guys later. Take care.